Hey there. Okay, so I just recorded a whole video about how to prepare to go live on Facebook or Instagram to get past that initial just blockage and obstacle of going live and knowing what to say and then feeling like you know how to do something that is going to be great that people are going to enjoy and to just do it live and to just have that pressure and I shared a bunch of great things in that video and then I got off and I was just thinking and then I realized that I left out the key point at the end that I was building up to uh, I gave a bunch of practical steps and talked about mindset and being aware of your mental and emotional state which I guess that's the focus of that video but I wanted to share about right before you do the live and then as you go in and you're doing the live video the mindset for that experience that I believe is the key to a fantastic Facebook live where people ask you how did you do that okay so the key is to embrace your <laughs> embrace creativity as your birthright and I don't even know how to start talking about this, but basically, um, if you <laughs> if you like whatever I'm about to say, all of these ideas come from Stephen Pressfield and several of his different books, where he kind of coaches you through in these really small, easy to read. Um, yeah, they're over there, but like do the work and turning pro and the artist journey. He talks about resistance and this idea of being creative and how to embrace that process. And basically, the mindset for live video is to believe that there is a divine creativity that you can tap into. And we see hints of this in live and the best way to think about it is getting in the flow. So the whole point of this is that you need to believe that when you are passionate about what you're doing and you have a heart to serve people, that you can sit down and commit at any given time to give something useful to impart information to people. If you pick a topic and have a general idea of what you want to share about and how you want to help them, all you need is a problem is a problem or even an answer. You can just be answering a question or teaching about a specific idea. But teaching about anything is always to like solve some problem, right? Everything every everything comes back to story and every story has a problem where you have no story, right? So we're always trying to solve something and help somebody in some way. So all you need is a problem and then you need the heart to serve people by helping them with that problem. And then you approach going live with, with video, you know, on Facebook that way. And you just, you need to believe that you can get in the flow when you want to, that you can get in the flow on demand. I should, I'll do a whole nother thing about, about this at some point. Um, it might be in the course, but okay. Let me, let me talk for a minute about writing a book. When you write a book or just a blog post, when you sit down to write, when you decide that you want to be a writer, like th this in, in the book, he talks about writer's block, right? And just kind of, but then it's so applicable. It's very much that you can apply, apply it to any creative endeavor. So when you establish a habit and you sit down faithfully to write at your desk every day at a certain time, or you have blocks of time and you sit down, the, like, I believe the divine creativity will show up. People call it the muse. People call it whatever it is. But we all have the ability as holistic human beings to tap into another level. I love the way he talks about it. He talks about it like this second spiritual dimension that's like above ours and that we, we as artists are creative, that we reach up and we pull something down out of that, out of that layer for people. And that's why creativity is so exciting. And that's why getting on in the flow is so amazing because you're tapping into this like fourth dimension, like the spiritual element of our existence. Right. And I mean, he said some of his favorite pages of his books are pages that he doesn't remember writing. And I've written stuff. I've written, I wrote blog posts last year and people were like, oh, that was really good. And I went back to write it and I was like, man, did I write that? Oh, that was amazing. Or I'll write something and I'll get in that flow. Like it's that, you know, that feeling, that feeling you get where you're in the flow and you're just 
you're in alignment with your the way you were created. You are in alignment with whatever you're meant to do. You're in your element. You're doing. You're using your skills. You're using your gifts. You're doing something that you love for a reason that you care about. And when all those things line up and you get excited, that's when time stands still or time passes and you wake up and you're like your foot is numb or it's been four hours or it's only been 30 minutes, but you accomplished what your main task of the day, right? Um, yeah, there's a whole other thing about, about time. Anyways, point right now is this idea of getting in the flow. When you are going to go live on Facebook, the key is to tap into that heart of service, to feel love for the people that you're trying to help, to be passionate about helping them solve, them solve that problem. It helps to have like maybe three points that you know that you want to touch or just to, you know, to bring mentally that framework of, you know, what the question is that you want to talk about or the answer that the question that you want to answer and then have a couple of things that you know what you want to hit. But then the key to live, I think, that I've found so far is to just... And it's also, just want to say, I'm using the same principle right now. And it's also key for when you're getting started and you want to record YouTube videos and not have to take time to edit them. Or, hi, me, haven't even learned how to find time to edit them. Because I know when my husband is more available to help me, he will do that for me. And so I've been like, I don't really need to learn that, do I? Maybe, I don't know. But point is right now I'm trying to, I tr I'm treating this like a live because somebody asked me this and then somebody else said they were interested too. And I was like, I'll put a video up on YouTube and share it. And so this is going to be just like a live if you found it, you know, when I did a live yesterday. This is going to be the same kind of thing. So live content or content you don't want to have to edit. If you want to be able, it also maximizes your time, right? Like we as moms and young, you know, small business entrepreneurs, right? You want to maximize your time. You want to sit down, have an idea, have a topic, and you want to go through and be able to record that video and then have that video ready for your course or whatever and not... This will save you time. It will make you more authentic if you think about getting in the flow. And yeah, I want to wrap this up. But basically my main point is to trust the universe and to trust God to give you the things to say for the people that you're talking to, to have faith in your ability to get in the flow, to set up the structure, to put your heart in the right place, to do the mindset and the, um, you know, emotional, you know, monitoring and work that I talked about in the other video and then to just you know do your best attempt to minimize distractions keep people from interrupting you create that place as set at that time and then just tell yourself that it's time to show up and believe that everything in you has been waiting for you this moment that this is your time that just because you haven't done Facebook lives before does not mean that you cannot do an amazing one later today or tomorrow and all of this mindset and like different things that I'm talking about, it takes time and it's a process, but at the same time, you can also just choose to choose to show up. And I believe that God honors that, honors that when we show up and we, we try and we work. And even if you don't know exactly what you're going to say, you just trust that in that you have been given when you, when you pick a mission and you pick people that you're really passionate about and you've got the heart of service, I believe that like the universe gets behind you to help you to pull out of and like everything that's in you that you've been created with, like we're all created to help others and to give and to serve and to give of our gifts to others. And so when we're in alignment with our nature, everything just comes together and it's this magical moment where you ended up, those, those, when you do that, those are the ones where somebody messages you or comments and they're like, oh, I can't believe I saw this. This is just what I needed. I haven't whatever. Or I just found you or I haven't watched you forever. Or this wasn't supposed to come up in the search, but I came across this and it was just what I needed. You will see the synchronicity and the, you know, divine convergences when you live your life this way. And that's enough about that. So I'm going to stop, but I hope that that was encouraging and exciting. And I want to challenge you to just take a couple of these things and then just try. And if you're having trouble with the live video, try, try recording some and try recording some first and just practice this, practice this, recording it, and then challenge yourself no matter what you ended up recording 
to share it somewhere, to share it on YouTube or to share it in a group and say, hey, I tried to do a Facebook, I, I'm preparing to do Facebook Lives. I wanted to give you guys value on this. I recorded a video. Here it is. Would love your feedback. And then you get feedback. And if that that strengthens your faith and then you, you work towards doing it in live time, especially if you think a bunch of people are going to show up live. So, hope that's helpful. You got this, girl. You got this. You were born for this. This is your time. All right, I'm just going to stop or I'll get all motivational, cut the crap, you can do this. Yeah, I believe in you. All right, until next time.